I'm walking to the campground. Uh, pretty nice day outside. A little bit chilly, but uh, nice day. It's going to be cold tonight. Wear my, wear my warmer hat. <laughs> So the pack I'm wearing is uh, the cheap budget pack that I modified recently. And uh, I've been champing at the bit to uh, get out and uh, take it for a test run. Let's see if I get a better, <laughs> better video of uh, the backpack <laughs> pretty soon. Anyway, I don't have a lot of time. Uh, I just don't have as much time as I'd like to have. So, uh, this little campground on Louisville Lake, Louisville, Texas, um, it's got lots of campgrounds around it, actually. Uh, it's a recreational area. Uh, but anyway, I, uh, I like this little campground in, uh, the little city of Hickory Creek, Texas. It's right on the border of, uh, Lake Dallas, Texas, which is, uh, oddly named because it is not on Lake Dallas, it is on... Lake Louisville, but um, I like uh, coming out to this this campsite. This is where I bring my family sometimes, and uh, I don't always have a chance to kind of explore the trails that often. But they have a uh, these little these little woodland trails that that snake through the camp campgrounds. Oh, it's a couple of miles. Not not it's not long, but. Uh, it's nice to be out here and kind of explore, uh, take a look at what the uh, primitive campsites look like. And, uh, I say this as I'm on my way to like a, uh, an RV style campsite with like electrical hookups and picnic tables and stuff. Um, anyway, that's what my day hike's about, uh, today. It's the middle of the week and I just kind of snuck away for an overnight. That's, uh, kind of all I have time for, but... Uh, that's what we're doing. Pretty nice day out here. So this is the uh, primitive campsite area and as you can see it has some rudimentary restrooms and this water hookup. So uh, I'm not sure how primitive primitive it is. Um, there's 10 sites out here, 10 different uh, campsites. Uh, so let's, uh, let's take a quick look at a couple of them. Uh, I've never camped at one of these primitive sites, uh, but I've passed by them a couple of times. They, they always look nice to me. This is uh, site number four. All of them kind of uh, are in view of the lake, of uh, Louisville Lake. Primitive site number two. Nice place to uh, hammock camp, I guess.
And hey, look at that. There's a little trail that leads right down to the shore of the lake uh, from this particular campsite. Well, that's nice. Some uh, gentle uphills. A little bit rocky. Uh, here's another look at that Outlife budget backpack I got off of Amazon that I recently modified. Uh, this is the reason I wanted to take this overnight trip, actually, to begin with, uh, to uh, carry the gear in it and actually use it on an overnight trip. Oh, hey, uh, see this little uh, paracord survival bracelet? I recently learned how to make these, so uh, <laughs> I brought this with me. This is what I'm sleeping in tonight. It's the uh, Lan Shan One Pro tent. I got it off AliExpress um, a couple of years ago, and I haven't used it very much. Um, but it uh, it works pretty well, actually, uh, considering it doesn't have a, a ton of room in it. But it, it it's great for just one person to sleep for the night. Um, due to the shape of it, it it holds up to wind pretty decently, and uh, it's very lightweight and very compact in my bag. Uh, yeah, that's what I brought tonight. Also, you'll see that little uh, stool right there, that little foldable collapsible stool. That weighs uh, about a pound, and uh, I use that to get myself up off the ground when I have to get out of the tent because I am an old man now. So the air pad, sleeping pad that I'm using is from a company called Invoker and I've used it for several years now and it's uh, pretty comfortable. It has this unique pump system. Uh, you don't have to blow it up with your mouth or with like a little uh, little fan or something. Instead uh, you just kind of give it CPR so to speak um, <laughs> over the end of it. I usually do it with my foot but here I have this picnic table so that makes it pretty handy. So this is my setup for the night inside the uh, Lanshan One Pro got a my sleeping pad quilt uh, blow-up pillow that I put a buff over as a sleeping uh, put my head on kind of a what do you call it pillowcase anyway it's pretty comfortable for the night after I got camp set up I went and processed a bunch of firewood so I could make a fire that night and uh, I sat down and had a chicken sandwich that I brought with me and then I just enjoyed sitting in front of the fire. I smoked a cigar and uh, listened to some audiobooks and uh, had a really good evening.
I'm back on the trail, heading back. Uh, I'm still wearing my glasses uh, <laughs> for this morning. Uh, last night I took my contacts out. When I do these little overnights and I'm in a campground that has, you know, full working facilities and, and restrooms and everything, uh, I just take my, my contacts off at night. Eventually I'm going to get some LASIK surgery. Uh, just, I'm always waiting for them to make more advances in it. <laughs> it's just nervous, uh, you know, about losing my eyesight. Uh, but as I get older and uh, my glass prescription, my glasses prescription has to be increased, uh, LASIK looks better and better every year. And uh, if I want to continue doing these hiking trips, uh, either I have to kind of switch to glasses uh, all the time or I need to uh, maybe bite the bullet and get some LASIK. Anyway, uh, my parents live in a neighborhood not too far from where this campsite, where the entrance of this, uh, these campgrounds are. So I'm actually just going to walk to their house and uh, take a shower and put my contacts in there. And that will probably conclude my little uh, overnight trip. Uh, probably raid their coffee pot too uh, and have a second cup of coffee. <laughs> oh, it's getting rocky. All right. Uh, let's pay attention to what I'm doing.